Hi, George here. Today we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop Elements to remove the background from this photo, just like that. You can then replace it with a different photo, there we go, or even a graphic background right there. Now, if you recall seeing this video in the past, that's because I did this back in 2015 and it's still a fairly popular video, but Photoshop Elements has improved and it now has some better tools to use to remove the background. So we'll see how we can do this today. So let's close this project down. I'll leave this here and I'll reopen the original dog picture, which is right here. There we go. There is the original photo. And we'll start from this. Now, the first thing you need to do is to make a selection around the dog. Now, more recent versions of Photoshop elements can use the select subject, which we'll be doing here. If you have an older version and you don't have select subject, and it's right up here where it says select, and you'll see subject right there. If you don't have that, then just use the lasso tool. Click on new, set your feather at zero. We don't need that. And then just make a quick selection just outside of the dog. It doesn't have to be accurate by any means. You can go a little in or a little out and you're just fine. Just go right along the edge of the dog like this and work clear on the top and go down the right hand side. Again, this is for older versions of Photoshop elements that don't have the select subject. So that's really all you have to do for that. And that's good enough Then go across the bottom, up this side and over there. If you miss a spot like right down here in the corner, easy to do, just click on the add right here and then pull a circle around that or a selection and there you go, that fits that in. I'll use the control D keyboard shortcut to get rid of that. And that's how I did this back in the earlier version of this video. The new way of doing this is to use that subject select and that's up here at select, come down to subject, click on that and Photoshop Elements goes in and finds the subject for you and does a real nice job of making that selection. Now it's not perfect. There's a little spot right over here that we need to fix. So for that, I'll use that lasso tool and I'll use the add option and I'll just do a little lasso just right around that bit and bring that back in again. Okay, so real nice clean selection, but we can improve this. The basic selection is not gonna be great for the real fine hairs you see along the edge of a dog's fur. So I wanna keep some of that in. And for that, there are two options in Photoshop Elements. One is the refine edge, we'll be using this tool. But the other one up here, if you go over to one of the brushes right here, there is this thing down here, it's called the Refine Selection Brush, and it allows you to refine that edge using some tricky stuff in here. But I've tested this a whole bunch of times, and I've compared it with the regular Refine Edge dialog box, and that technique just works better. This technique is not as good, so I never use this tool. It's just not that great. Okay, let's go back to our regular selection tool, and I'll use Refine Edge. This is the one that works better inside of Photoshop Elements. And I normally have this set either at white like this or at overlay. Overlay is nice because you can easily see where that is. In this particular image, I'll be doing this on white. I think it works better for this. Sometimes it's better on overlay, sometimes it's better on white. This time I think white is the better option. Now down here, we can give this just a little bit of smart radius, just a touch. This is going to just blur the edge down a little bit, but not much. Sometimes that helps. If you go too high here, you're gonna get a real soft edge. Just a little bit of that. I found that a little bit of contrast helps to retain fine hairs along edges, especially on fur. And I found 15 or 20 works out well. I'll do 20 here, so it's a little bit higher contrast. We'll come down and we'll decontaminate the colors as a final output step. But here's my basic settings to get the best results from this tool. And we have this little crosshair thing here, and here's a size 33, and that's pretty good. It's just a little bit larger than the edge, and all you have to do is just to pull it right along the edge. Now I have the plus sign outside of the subject, and then I'm brushing along that outside part of the edge, just like that. And I tend to do it in just a few little steps like this, just go a little ways, and then let go a little more, and let go, and just let Photoshop Elements come in and figure that edge out for us. There we go, just work your way around. There it is, and this does a real nice job of doing that. Now, it's gonna be giving you a little bit of a thinness along that edge, and that's because we have that radius up here, smart radius, and that helps to retain those little fine hairs. The contrast helps to make that edge more contrasty, and the combination of those two should give us the best effects. You see, we can get some real nice hair right along that edge, a nice bit of fur showing. So it's doing a very good job in here with that. And we'll just go clear around the whole edge of the dog in here. There we go. Notice we got those little fur bits right there as well. And right along here, 
and we'll just finish up just along the bottom right there. And that gives us a real nice edge. There's a little bit of coloration up in here. That should mostly go away when we decontaminate our colors and move this out to a new layer. All right, that's all we have to do here. It looks very good. Let's now come down and decontaminate colors right here. And you wanna to output to a new layer with layer mask. Everything else is fine. Choose okay. And there we go, here's our new layer and there's our transparency. And it's really that easy to do. Okay, now we wanna be bringing in a new background into this and that's also easy to do. Let's go over here and I have this picture. I'm just gonna float this window like that, just pull that down. Now, if you're new to Photoshop Elements, if you haven't been watching my videos a lot, you may not know this one trick. And let's go up here to Edit, come down to Preferences and General right here, brings up the General tab, and make sure that this checkbox is checked. Allow floating documents in expert mode. So it'll look like that by default. Just check that checkbox, choose OK, and you can then float your windows. I like doing this just because it's really easy to then grab a layer from your one file and drag it into the other file. Just like that, it's just real easy to do that. Okay, let's get that out of the way. And now go up to the Move tool, and the image is not quite an exact fit. As you can see, it's good side to side, top to bottom. I'm just gonna pull the bottom, just pull it down just a touch so it fits properly. There's that image, edges look good. Let's now take this layer and drag it straight below our previous layer, and there's that new background, and that looks great. Now, there are a couple of things in here. And you'll see this more in just a second. And that's why we have this kind of a green tinge down here underneath the fur. This is green from the grass that the dog was sitting on. This works out just fine in this photograph. If you put something else back here, that's gonna be a little odd. So let's see how that's done. And this is a good time to change our backgrounds again anyway. Now we'll be using the background tool over here under graphics. And if you're doing that, it's gonna change your actual background layer. Now I always like to save my original photo in my project just in case I mess up, I can always go back to that. So where it says background, right click on that, duplicate layer, choose okay, and that layer is hidden, and that's my safety right there. Okay, now I'm going to hide this. I'll show our background, that's the original. I'm going to come down, click on graphics, and over here we have backgrounds, frames, graphics, shapes, and text. I'm in by type right there. I want backgrounds. And if you scroll down a long ways, there's a real long list here, a whole bunch of different backgrounds, tons and tons and tons of these backgrounds. The ones I'm using are way down towards the bottom down here. Right here, here's one, I'll click on this one. That works out well. Again, that green is fine here because there is a green background. Let's say I wanted something different, like this Christmassy look in here. All of a sudden that green in here looks kind of odd. Or this picture right here, Nice kind of snowflakey look almost. Again, that green looks a bit odd down here. We can easily fix that. So we'll go back to layers. And notice how the background here was changed to that new background. Let's say I wanted to have a couple of these different backgrounds. Easy to do, just right click where it says background, duplicate layer, choose okay, hide that new layer, and then come back here and change to a different background, just like this one right here. Double click, there we go. And back over again. So you can actually add in several of these different backgrounds. Just make sure that you save the current background as a new layer so you have that as an option. So there's that background, there's that background, there's that one, we have all those options now. Okay, let's now take a look at this kind of a green tint down here. Easy, easy to fix. I'm just gonna zoom in. Luckily for us, the dog here is basically black and white in this area. It's white fur and some black fur up here, which means all we have to do is just remove the color from this area and we're fine. So for that, go over here and grab the sponge tool. Now, normally this is gonna be looking like that, little dodge tool, or you may see the burn tool up here. Come down to the options, click on the sponge at your sponge tool, set this to desaturate. I have my size and the flow about in the middle in here and a soft edge brush. And then choose the dog layer right here. Look for that light blue outline, make sure on the correct side, this is the photo side of that layer. And then simply brush in here. And what we're doing is we are changing this area, we're taking the color out and just leaving the black and white part of the image. Again, this is a black and white dog for this section, so that works out just fine for us. And by taking out that color, we're getting rid of that green tint. And it's where it clear around it's a little bit over here and a little bit right down in here, maybe over here just a touch. There we go. Again, this works out great if the area tends to be 
black and white anyway, or if it's a dark area and you go in real tight, you can do that also to get rid of any unusual color tip, just go black and white. It works out on a lot of photos this way. Okay, that looks good. We'll zoom back out here to fit screen. And there we go, all that green has been removed down here. And now the dog fits perfectly into this new background. We've even retained those little nice bits of that edge right along in there. Now, if you've recently upgraded to Photoshop Elements 2023, take a look at my new training course for that. There's a link right down there in the description. I also have training for earlier versions of Photoshop Elements. The link also is right down there in the description. Make sure you click on like, make sure you share and click on subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.